Hello YouTube! I am Pinstar and this is Mega Aquarium Strategy and Tactics. So, uh, today we are here in scenario number six with a much more advanced aquarium to uh, talk to you about, well, talking. And also a few more uh, advanced points and to reinforce the stuff that we learned in our last episodes. Um, so first off, you might notice um, this may, you know, obviously is a much larger, um, uh, but still fairly compact, um, uh, compactly built aquarium here. But you might notice it kind of started off the same way I showed you. Our 3x4 here plus our, uh, our lagoon tank up here. Uh, so from humble beginnings begets um, some pretty impressive stuff, even on Brutal. But, and there's, we got a lot of stuff here. We got gift shop stuff going here. We got some cold water tanks paired up here. And we've got this monster Belfast tank here. 100 and, uh, 120, 114 of 120 with some big old fish in here uh, that are doing stuff. Now I know these guys are breaking some of the, uh, the two or uh, um, seven rules. But again, these guys are shoulders. But uh, we don't quite have the room for all seven of them. We don't, we don't quite build them that big. Uh, but anyway, I digress. Today we are here to talk about, well, talking. Um, so let us pause the game here. Let us bring up our staff here, which, by the way, are made up of all of my name in game patrons. Uh, thank you very much, guys. And if you guys want to sign up for that, check out the my link in the description below for my uh, Patreon. Um, so, one of our, a couple of our guys here, if I believe, yes, Nathan Sullivan. Uh, one of the skills that our uh, people can have here is talking. Uh, but what does talking do? How, how can you benefit from it? And what's the best way to set it up? Um, right, let me show you. So, first off, you need someone with the talking skill. Second off, you need a, a headstand, a, a, a stand mic right here. In this one, you just want to put... Uh, uh, the mic headset uh, somewhere in the back with the rest of your tools. But last but not least, we want some podiums. Now, podiums are expensive. 500 bucks a piece. Well, expensive for playing on Brutal. Money may not be quite so tight if you're on the easier difficulty levels. But each podium is only good for one specific topic. So if you want to talk about multiple topics, you need multiple podiums. So don't be shy about building lots of these things and in centrally located, well, locations. I'll put one right here. Yeah, I'll put one right here. How about one over here? And oh, we'll get one over here. Oh, that blocks you. Well, let's just rotate you. That's better. And we'll get one more over here podium like so now what uh now the next thing you need to do is you need to tell your talker or talkers uh what are they going to talk about on each of these podiums so let's go ahead and pick that now the top the the number of topics that you have available to talk about is dependent completely on the species of fish near that podium so Basically, having all these tanks here gives us a wide variety of choices. That's another reason for having these uh, tanks full of d uh, diverse fish types of all these different types uh, uh, in here, because having seven of one type of fish won't make that talk any more effective. So having a tank with lots of different fish gives you lots of different topics to talk about. Um, now, which topic are the best? Well, in, um, in my experience, um, prestige is king. Wherever possible, you want prestige. Uh, so we're obviously going to want to go for the Arabian butterfly fish talk. Um, now, what's, what's to prevent us from going on, say, this, uh, this one over here and also having them do the butterfly Arabian fish, Arabian butterfly fish talk? Well, people get bored. They do not want to hear the same talk over and over and over again. Um, so much so that you really don't want to, to have things repeat or you're going to get lots and lots of penalties. Uh, talking can backfire on you if you are not careful. Um, 
So best to diversify these things. The other thing you want to do is this days between. Normally, if it's set to zero every single day, they will repeat this talk. I can tell you right now, that's going to create boredom. Even from the same podium just repeating the talk itself, yeah, there'll be a few more for more people that'll have moved into the area, but there'll be enough people that will hear the talk again that it will be, become problematic and you'll start losing prestige. I like to always set my days between as two. This will give people enough time to cycle through and, and clear out so that the by the time they repeat that talk, it's probably a whole new set of people, or at least the people that have heard it before have moved to another part of the aquarium. Um, so Arabian uh, butterfly fish talk on one. This place, well, we're kind of closer to the moon jellies, although this, this podium could do that too. So let's do the flame angel fish talk. Um, that seems good to me. Um, again, you want to keep you want to focus on prestige where possible, but keep it diverse um, and days between the start time. I don't really find fussing with the start time because it's not really exact. It's when the job itself gets created, but when the person actually talks is um, a little bit less important. Um, all right, let's see what we got here. Cuckoo Rass, yeah, or porcupine puffers. Lots of uh, stuff there. So let's go for the porcupine puffers. Um, and then over here, oh yeah, days between, always set to two. And then over here, we can do the uh, Kukuras, set to two. And then over here, um, since we've already, oh, the green moray, yeah, well, the green moray we can get from over here. Um, now, that's not to say that you should never, ever um, do talks on non-prestige stuff. For example, yeah, we could do the two prestige for the clownfish or the basic aquarium info. But there's some pretty heavy hitters here that aren't prestige, like the moon jelly giving us 405 research. That's kind of worth it right there. So don't you don't have to restrict yourself to nothing but prestige talks. Those are worth it as well if you've got the uh, if you've got the fish to give you some heavy hitting stuff. Now down here, let's see down here. Green moray eel, worth it right there for the prestige, absolutely. But we go over here. We've pretty much exhausted all the really good prestige things, but horse eye jack talk, 450 ecology, that's a he that's a heavy hitter. Same with the cup copper bun butterfly, same same difference. Same difference. You'll get the uh, most out of those. Let's do copper band uh, a copper brand uh, butterfly. So now now let's uh, let's uh, set our things up here. Let's um, let's check our uh, let's see what is it Nathan 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 should be grabbing his uh, his headset fairly soon. He's probably f uh, finishing up one of his other activities. Nathan, what are you doing? Nathan. All right, you know what? We're going to turn off all of your other jobs, which, by the way, if you make them priority zero, they will not do those jobs despite those skills, and they will go straight to doing this. So, Nathan, where, uh, where'd you go, Nathan? I saw you took the headset. Because I kind of want to... Oh, here he is. He's giving a talk over here. So Nathan is giving a talk here. It looks like they're doing the, uh, the copperhead uh, 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 fish here. And look at all these people getting ecology points despite not looking at a, an aquarium. All of them, look at our ecology rate right here. It's going nuts. Um, so yeah, all these people are getting benefits. So now, um, now he's doing a talk on the green moray eel, and look at those, um, uh, look, look at that prestige uh, uh, flow here. Now if we, uh, if we move things over here, uh, Nathan Sullivan gave an okay talk about the green moray eel at podium 12. 16 freaking prestige, that's huge! You, the amount of prestige you get more, uh, gets, gets uh, in, increased uh, when they do stuff, um, when you have a better talker. So now we've got, uh, which, which one was this one? Um, but yeah, look at the area of effect here. 
PBAOE talks for great justice. And Nathan's just going to keep on yap, 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 yapping here um, and, and with each of these queuing up. Now, that whole two-day uh, cool down here is going to mean that these jobs will appear again in two days. And again, we want that cool down um, to, uh, to happen so that people don't get bored. That's why you need a lot of podiums and a lot of different topics and a lot of different fish so you can have a talker remain busy without getting people bored. Uh, it does seem excessive that you have to drop 500 for a separate podium just to talk about each individual topic, but I understand it for game balance. All right, it looks like he's doing the uh, the moon jelly talk, because look at all that science. We're about to pop our uh, nitrate reactor. Boom! That's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. That is what I'm talking about. Oh, let's get some popcorn cards. Um, so that, my friends, is the power of persuasion. Now, don't go after this in the early game. When you when you were seeing our, our aquarium in our last couple of episodes, where it was just those, those couple of people farting around, do not, even if you have, if it's a later scenario and you have it unlocked, don't plop down the, the, the money and the cost and the expense and, and whatnot to do talks. Wait until you're about this stage where you've got a good number of tanks going up and you've got some high profile fish for your talkers to brag about. That's when the power of speech really comes into its own. Um, so I hope you guys uh, find this episode useful. Uh, so if you guys like this episode and you want to see more like it, go ahead and hit that like button, hit that subscribe button and leave me a comment, good, bad or indifferent. Your feedback is always welcome. So until next time, this has been Pinstar signing out. See ya!